It's a very impressive model, very impressive piece of work. I think the team is probably the best team that I've seen come out of China. So that said, I think a lot of the claims are exaggerated and a little bit misleading. So um, first of all, when you report uh, 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 how much uh, it costs to do a training run, they seem to report to just their final training run, which is actually a fraction of the cost it normally takes to explore and train and, and do all the tests beforehand before you do your final run. Um, so we think uh, that's been a, a sort of underestimated. And then the other thing is um, they seem to have relied on some Western models to distill from or to uh, basically fine tune against the outputs of. So you have to sort of factor that cost in as well. Uh, and then finally, like we, we, it's an impressive piece of work, but we don't see any silver bullet new technologies that, or techniques that we hadn't seen before or hadn't invented before. They've just applied it very well. So it's impressive, but it isn't some new outlier on the efficiency curve. For example, Gemini is more efficient than DeepSeek in terms of its training to performance or its cost to performance. Uh, we just don't talk about that very much, but um, it's actually more efficient on the Pareto frontier of cost to, to performance.